Hey folks, E.B. Christensen, Winget Fishing Products. I'm here to show you the new Winget Quick Swap Slip Bobber, but first I'm going to show you one of the old traditional slip bobbers that's been on the market for a, lot of, a long time, many years. With this traditional type slip bobber, you always had to cut your line. You have to take and try and feed it through the little hole. And if you're like me, you have a real tough time doing that. Sometimes it just takes forever. So we designed something here at Winget Fishing Products that's going to work a whole lot better. So we'll get rid of that. And we're going to show you how our new one works. But what we have here is what we call the Winget Quick Swap Slip Bobber. And you can use it fixed or you can use it slip. I'll show you that in a minute. But with the Winget Quick Swap, it's all about this connector right here. With this connector, you just pull this connector out of your tube far enough to open up that side opening. This eliminates having to cut your line and run it down through the center stem. So you pull this out far enough to open up the side opening. And you take and put your line right in that side opening to where it's in the main slot. And then you push this in far enough to where it closes it. So now you have your slip bobber on your line. <clears throat> the nice thing about the wing at, uh, quick swap is that you can take it off or put it on your line without cutting your line. The other thing is if you want to take and change, uh, let's say you want to change colors for instance, you just unplug it, turn it around, and plug the orange into the tube and you'd have the yellow up. In case it gets dark and you can't see the orange as well, just turn it around and put the yellow up. Or you can change sizes. You can unplug one and you can plug another one in. So you can change the size of your bobber instantly. If the nice thing about this float also is that you can use it as a fixed float. This is slip. You can see here how it slides on your line. And your knot would come right up against the side of it here. This is your stop knot. I'll show you that. Your knot would come right up against the side and set your depth. Most times you won't need a bead in between the knot and the connector. But there will be times where you might have to put a bead in here because if you're using fire line or let's say you're using Power Pro, it's a real small diameter, you might have to put a bead in here to ensure that the knot doesn't go through the side opening. So, if you want to use it fixed, you just take and hold your silicone tubing like this here, and you push this connector up into the silicone tubing far enough to where the, the end of the connector pushes the line up against the silicone tube. That way it holds it fixed. So you have it fixed in this situation. Now when it's in the water, your bobber will sit straight up just like it should and you don't have to worry about that. So it works very nice that way. If you need to make a subtle change, let's say you're in maybe a foot and a half of water fishing for crappies in the spring. Let's say they move out to three feet. You can just take this and slide it up to where you want to for your depth. It's not going to hurt your line. Traditional uh, fixed floats, they have a wire spring and that wire spring will damage your line. With the winget, a uh, quick swap bobber with the silicone tube being it softer than the line it won't damage your line so you can make subtle changes like that that's a real nice advantage when you're out there fishing you want to change the depth for just a little bit so to take that off to get that out of there you hold your bobber body like this hold your silicone tube and push against the back of that connector with this stem of the float that way you can get your hands on this connector again and pull it out far enough to open up the side opening and you can take it off your line Let's talk about bobbers here real quick. Um, this is an old traditional type slip bobber. And the, the thing with this is the body is what I want to talk about. With this style of body, you got a lot of buoyancy in a short period of length, let's say, or a short length. What happens is when a fish takes the bait and wants to pull down on the bait, all this buoyancy is like immediate. It's just like a break on your line. So it's difficult for the fish to take this old style slip bobber down. With the winget quick swap bobber, we design it with the wings on it, and the reason for the wings is when it's in the water, it's got a wide profile. It's easier to see, no matter which way it turns. But when you look at the float from the top, it's a lot like a pencil float. So when a fish takes it down, he doesn't have that big round body and that short, you know, short body of resistance to where like it's a break. With this, when he takes the wing it down, it's gradual, and it slides into the water just like a knife. When you're out casting the wing it, you'll notice that when it hits the water, it just goes in the water without a big splash. The old traditional type bobbers, when they hit the water, they splash. They make a lot of noise. A lot of times that will spook the fish if you're fishing shallow. So with the winget bobber, you have the wings so that when it hits the water, it's just like a knife going in the water. And also, you'll notice when a fish takes it down and when the bait starts, when he takes the bait and the bobber's going down, it glides through the water just like a glider. There's no wobble. There's no resistance. So it's less likely the fish is going to spit the hook. And you'll notice, too, when you're reeling your fish in, you feel the fish. You don't feel the bobber. That's the reason for the wings. It's got a wide profile, 
It's easier to see, but it's low in resistance like a pencil float. That's what makes the winget bobber, the winget quick swap bobber, better than any bobber on the, on the market. The sun is set, it's getting dark, we want to fish at night. But now we want to make this from a daytime float into a nighttime float. So what we do is we take one of our silicone tubes that we have, and we simply plug that in on top of the bobber stem. And we activate it by just bending it, just to light up the light. We shake it a little bit, just to help kind of shake it up a little bit. And then we simply plug it into the top of the tubing. So now we just went from a daytime float to a nighttime float instantly. Remember, here at Winget Fishing Products, less time rigging means more time fishing. And another thing, Winget Quick Swap products are all made in the good old USA.